Did someone ask for a uh, hotel tour? Hotel tour time. So welcome to the Art of Marvel Hotel. Sorry, it's very early, so my voice is a bit croaky. But um, I thought I'd start right here in the lobby. It's very early, so there's nobody around, which gives me a chance to show you everything. This is the main entrance right here, where you come in through if you park your car and come in from the coach, coach tours. We have security in there. So let's start this way to the left-hand side. As you can see, we've got some nice Captain America shields, a couple of prototypes and the finished arc on the bottom. They're quite striking and are awesome when you come in on the right, especially if you're a Cap fan. Next to that, we've got the Skyline Bar. Now, I've not been in there yet, but it does look crazy fancy in there. You can quite see through there. It's pretty New York Skyline in the back. I think it looks quite nice. Let's have a look at the menu quickly whilst we're here. We have cocktails. Feel free to pause this, you can have a little look. Cocktails, champagnes. I'm not sure what food they do, lots of beers. I think they do, yeah, they do snacks. I think snacks, creme brulee. Really? All right, when well, in Paris. Yeah, all the different alcohols you can think of. Looks pretty nice in there. I think the signature part of this lobby are the three Iron Man suits. Again, this on the left here looks like a prototype. This looks like the undercoat. And then we have the finished article. Mr. Stark himself would be happy. Look at that. Pride of place, right in the centre of the lobby. Amazing. So this way to the right here we have... Um, lifts to the other wing. We stay in the other side of the hotel this way, but that's the other wing, the kids club, the pool and the fitness room. Above that we've got the nice Alex Ross Avengers piece looking down at everybody. I'm kind of in love with that picture at the moment. I think it's brilliant. I think it's incredible. Um, moving on around we have Concierge with this amazing piece of artwork. I'm not too sure who's done that. I want to say his name is Brian or something. Um, but I really can't remember his name. There's a bit of a featurette in the hotels about this guy who did some Spider-Man artwork for the hotel. Uh, but in your room, you can watch that for free. But I can't remember his name now off the top of my head. But um, yeah, there's that. We have these comic book panels. Now, these again are light boxes showing loads of different characters, as you can see. And you'll see these around the hotel letting light in everywhere. After this way to the Disney Village, as it says. And out there through the window you can see another Iron Man suit. More light boxes here. Big old Black Panther, more Doctor Strange. And Hulk. Very Avengers. Uh, New York Boutique gift shop on this side here. So this is a just a display window with some artwork and some other bits that you can pick up from inside. There's a small picture of that giant piece from behind concierge. Now these aren't too badly priced either. But I can let you pause then to look at the prices. More artwork. Really nice Avengers pieces in my opinion. And as you head to this way, you've got all the restaurants down there, convention center and the superhero station where you meet Spider-Man and you have photo booths there to relive your little fantasies, which is great. Here we have reception, where you check in and check out. We have nice pieces of Marvel artwork going on over there as you check in, which keep in with the theming nicely. And then you have luggage on that side. Now I think I'm gonna take you first off to the right, and we can head down that way. Here we have some nice Spider-Man pieces. Spider-Man and Ghost Spider or Spider-Gwen. Just chilling here, looking at us. 
I think this is one of the most popular pieces. I see people having photos with this all the time. It just shows the popularity of Spider-Man. Oh, we can have a better view in here of the Skyline Lounge too. Let's have a look. It's the exit. Okay, very swanky, very New York, very high class society. As you can probably hear, there's a lot of smooth jazz being pumped in here, which is great. Um, really gives a feeling of up class New York. Now we have the Bleecker Street Lounge. Now this is, as you know, Bleecker Street is the home of the Sanctum Sanctorum, Doctor Strange hub of magic. And this is a family friendly lounge. You can come in, you can get cool Doctor Strange themed cocktails, some snacks. Um, yeah, and when this place isn't open, which it isn't now, it's just a chill out spot. So you're welcome to use this to come in and just take a break or put your feet up. Um, so we have more Doctor Strange artwork over down the wall. I think you can see here behind this glass we have the Eye of Agamotto sat there. Just between those bottles. Um, there's not a menu out for me to show you, but I'll try and insert one here if I can. Just so you can get an idea of what's on offer. We have a nice cap piece up here. Oh, that's cool, look at that. I'm not the biggest fan of cap, but this piece is really nice. And the Doctor Strange piece behind me is really cool too. I really like that piece. Very Multiverse of Madness, that one. So down here, this is the back of the Bleecker Street Lounge. Here we have public toilets. So this way is to, as I said before, the kids club, pool, fitness room, and the Gramercy wing. Now this, I do like this area here because they've got some retro prints of these characters. You've got Luke Cage up in here, Iron Man, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Doctor Strange, Mysterio, Black Cat, and Cat. And on this side, we have Wanda, I think that's War Machine down there. Hulk, Thor, Spidey, Symbiote Spidey, Doc Ock, and of course Deadpool. He's just chilling. He's just happy to be here. Look at him. <laughs> oh, this is this. says these are done by Mike Mitchell. I do like these. I think these are quite cool little headshots. That's like how Deadpool's in, but only one up there. Um, out of order, doing his thing. As I said, lift here to the other wing. Nice big Spider-Man mural here. Spidey is very popular. In fact here there's Spider-Man suites that you can stay in and Avengers suites. I'm not sure what else but the Spider-Man suites do look really good. So that way is back the way we came. And over here we have rooms to the kids club. These are um, I think hotel rooms down this side. So this is the way to the kids club and the pool and the gym. We went to the pool in our vlogs yesterday, so if you haven't seen them, go check out our vlogs. And you can see properly what it's like, so probably won't be able to go in there with this gimbal. More Spider-Man artwork as you get near the kids club, they know what the kids like. Some Captain Marvel. And a really nice Spidey, kind of reminds me of Andrew Garfield's Spidey. I don't think the kids club door is open for me to see in but you probably saw it in my vlogs again yesterday when I went inside there let's see if I can see it yeah there's art pieces on the wall and light boxes for the kids to play in but if you watch my vlogs from yesterday you'll be able to see it the Marvel Design Studio is what they call it in here and they've got some nice pieces up here that kids have done in the past some Doctor Doom, some Hulk, some Spidey, that's Spidey, some kid done that, that's great. A little baby group. Now that's an example of what they do in there, you see, because they'll do little demonstrations on how to draw your characters. You can see this kid's done the circle and the front of the face lines, this is cool. Well done that kid. And that's the back of the kids club in there. Excuse my reflection. So we keep heading down this way, and as you can see, we have the Metro Pool, which is where the gym, 
and the pool is. So I'm not going to go and film in there today because people be working out and they're swimming and they don't want me filming them. I wouldn't. But you can check out my vlogs from yesterday. I'll put a, a card in the description of this so you can go and have a little look. I was able to get in there quickly and film without the gimbal. So let's head back to the main reception area. So here we are back at reception. I didn't mention this piece before, this looks like another Alex Ross up here. We're going to head down this way. You can see the gift shop again on the right hand side. Some little offerings there. Tony Stark's Infinity Gauntlet. A bust up near near for 200 euros. Some comic books, action figures. A nice eye of Agamotto just for your collection. Why not? But yeah, it's a cool store in there. I'll get in there later on when it's open up and have a proper look around because I haven't had a chance to yet. But as you can see, there's a lot of there's comic books in there. We've got usual resort things like key rings, magnets, lanyards, lots of t-shirts and things as well. So yeah, it's a really cool little place. And we've also got another display here next to the store where you've got these Marvel statues, figurines. Cool piece of... Captain America artwork and it looks like this is a Black Widow made out of Rubik's Cube pieces next to another um, Black Widow and Stormbreaker yeah let's have a close look at this look yeah these are definitely Rubik's Cube pieces huh really cool all right so let's keep going down this down this way some more merch here to get you to go into the store I can't blame them, it's cool. So let's start off here. The lift to um, my room is that way. But here we have the back of the store. I'm gonna go right here where these restaurants are. Got some nice individual art pieces here. Some of the ladies of Marvel, really cool pieces. Really cool pieces, even though I can't name all of these. I'm not too sure who that is there, and that's Silk. That looks like Ironheart, I don't know who she's with. Is that a, a different Black Widow? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but either way, these look great. Here we have, to the left, the downtown restaurant. This is where you have a buffet. You can have a buffet breakfast and dinner in here. Really nice, again, check out my other vlogs to see what that was like. Here is the menu in case you want to have a little look. You can have my birthday in here with the cake. All you can eat breakfast, as I said, really fancy stuff. And all you can eat, um, I say all you can eat breakfast, all you can eat meal. And all you can eat meal in Paris is a bit different to one you can get in Orlando, trust me. And here at the Manhattan restaurant, this is a table service dining. Again, feel free to pause so you can have a little look at the menu. Again, I think it's quite pricey, but I can imagine the food is really good. Now, I've not walked down here myself yet, so let's have a little look and look at this artwork here. I like these light fixtures, these are great. Nice. Captain Marvel there, I'm not too sure what to call that. But it's decent, colourful, the Black Panther one is even better. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, and here you can see the downtown restaurant. This is where we do the buffet. All well, the food is cooked there on the back so you can see it. And the chefs are all in there at the moment preparing all those things for breakfast. And here we have Cap who looks angry for some reason. Not sure why, but there's Cap. And there's Hulk who's always angry. Hey Hulk. So it looks like we have restaurant toilets down here, down this way. And there's the entrance to the Manhattan restaurant. Now here outside you can again see the lake with Newport Bay over there. And there's that Iron Man statue you can see from outside and the balloon in the Disney Village. And here's a nice little view of the hotel itself from down here. And that entrance down there is to the lobby. So let's go back this way then. Spy 
the artwork here. I'm just going to zoom out this way. So these are the lifts to the wing I'm staying on. I can't remember what it's called right now. But next to that we have a nice, looks like a big Alex Ross piece here. Just adorning the lift entrance and exit. Ah uh, yeah, I am in the Crown Stone Wing or the Midtown Wing, one of them. So just coming back to the main hub here. This is where the lobby is in the store. This is where we're going to go right this time. We're going to come down here. So here is where you have the Empire State Lounge. If you are an Empire State Club member, you can come in there for something to eat and drink. There's also the reception there to check in, the convention centre and the superhero station this way. Now this is the Jack Kirby Legacy Gallery. Around here this is just this is basically a tribute to all the things that Jack Kirby, who was an incredible comic book legend, let's face it. In terms of writing and artwork, the man was a genius. So there's a mural to all of his amazing pieces here. Including things like Hulk number one, Fantastic Four number one, that looks like. Yeah, so much stuff. So much. A nice piece of the Eternals artwork there. As we turn around, we have another little mural to some Jack Kirby's things, some black and white images of comic book covers, and a big old picture of Cap himself. And you can see the nice little Jack Kirby signature there. I don't know if that's a real signature or print, but you know, if it was a real signature, that thing is valuable. So Empire State Lounge is here on the left, but this area here is all about the art of the theme park. So as we know, Avengers Campus is coming to Disneyland Paris. It already features in Disneyland California. So this little area here is showing basically what that's going to be all about. So here we have concepts for the California Park, which the Avengers Campus is, is already open in. It does look pretty fire as well, I've got to admit. It's just got Guidance of the Galaxy Mission Breakout in the picture there. We also have images of the Spider-Man ride, which is going to appear in the Avengers Campus. That looks good. I can't wait to do that. If you've been to Legoland Windsor, then you'll know what the ride's going to be like with Ninjago. Here's some concept art of Guardians of the Galaxy Mission, oh sorry, Cosmic Break, Cosmic Rewind, which is in Epcot. It's just literally opening as we speak. Can't wait to try that. Again, more concept art from California. And there's a couple of posters here. Recruitment begins. Disneyland Resort and Disneyland Paris. Both advertising Avengers Campus. Public toilets here on the right. And here we have some more artwork. I think this is concept for Disneyland Paris. I can't see a sign anywhere. Oh, this is Hong Kong. This is the Stark Expo in Hong Kong. That's cool. That's cool. I forgot they were going to have an Avengers campus there. Nice. So here on the right we have the superhero station. This is where you go and meet Spidey and you can have pictures on these um, big scenes they set up for you to be super. I'll insert some of mine now so you can see them. And this way we have the convention center. This place is massive. So you can see down here on the left hand side we have entrances to different ballrooms and convention rooms with a nice picture of Captain Marvel down the end. And in here we have entrances to more of the ballrooms it's all done up like a New York skyline in here with the windows. There's another entrance and exit there with security. This is for people who are coming to conventions in these big ballrooms. They can come in without going through the main guest lobby. There's a small little dark lounge area in here for you for someone to come and chill. I imagine after these ballrooms, these um conventions, you're gonna want a space just to chill out. So there you go. And then down this way we have more ballroom spaces. I think people get married in here. This would be a really cool venue. Nice artwork there. We've got a piano down here. It's not the piano you can hear playing, that's still the music. Not a play of piano. 
There's a Ball Street boardroom in there. I think that's the big main one. And it seems to be out here pretty much on its own. So yeah. So this is all just boardroom spaces here. So let's make our way back to reception. So we're back where we started with the Iron Man. Let me know what you thought of the hotel tour. Let me know what you think of the hotel. Would you stay here? Would you not stay here? Have you stayed here? Did you like it? And um, yeah, drop a like on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and you like this kind of content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.